Today I thought we can cover just a few different topics, but I want to start off on cursor here to show you one of my favorite features that I've been playing around with lately. So I think we're just going to start off with that, and that is going to be, we're going to go to Composer. Uh, we're going to use something that is the app web feature. So before, when I uh, always wanted to get some documentations for my project, I usually created like a folder, I called it docs, I went ahead, created a file, got some documentations I thought we needed for our project and used that as context. But lately I've been testing out this web feature, I think they updated it because it seems to work much better. So the way we can use this now is, uh, I'm just gonna come up with a prompt here, okay? So I think we're gonna try with, uh, I need a Python code main.py, this will use the Gemini 2.0 flash thinking model API. Take the user prompt as an argument, use .env to store the API key, find documentations for this flash thinking mode, uh, and then we're gonna use the app web feature, okay? Uh, if you go to the cursor documentation here, you can see uh, the at web uh, cursor constructs a search query based on the query and the context you provided, and searches the web to find relevant information as additional context, particularly useful for finding the most up-to-date information. So I have been trying to use this before, it didn't work so well, but I must have updated this. Uh, so if we are in the composer now, we're not going to select normal, uh, no, we're not going to select agent. We're just going to do normal, and I'm going to hit enter here. So what this is going to do now is going to create some search queries here that we can actually look into. So if we open up the first search query here now, boom, this is the perfect information we need for this. Because here is uh, where Google has all the documentation, and cursor could easily find this using the at web feature. This saves me a lot of time, not having to go fetch some documentations. So you can see we have uh, our main.py, okay, looks pretty good. We have uh, our .env file, we have some pip installs, we have how to run this, perfect, so we can just accept. Uh, I'm gonna grab my API key here. Let's create a virtual environment, okay. Okay, so that's up and running. Great, now we're just gonna install this. And now we can just run python main.py and our prompt. So I'm just gonna do, what is the square root of 16? Also make the response concise, but include the steps. The answer is we're looking for a number. This is four times four, perfect. So that's good. So you can see how smooth it was to actually use this at web feature. So I definitely recommend playing around with this. Another thing I've been using the at web feature for is debugging. So here we kind of have a setup uh, from OpenAI. We're gonna call a chat completion here with 01 mini API, uh, but we're gonna include a system prompt. So this is not allowed. So when we run this now, we're probably gonna get like an error here. Yeah, invalid request error, parameters, role, code, uh, not supported. Okay, so what is this error? I don't know. So I'm just gonna copy this error message here. I'm gonna paste it in here. Uh, and I'm gonna do just uh, like uh, at web, right? And let's just run this now. So let's see if we can create a search query here that can actually help us solve this. So the answer is we have to remove the system message because the O1 models does not support system messages. So you can see we have some results here. If we go to this link, so this is a community post from OpenAI. O1 models does not support system role in chat completion question. So we actually did fetch this contest in context into our support. Support, not support, but our context here. And we bunch uh, grabbed a bunch of other important uh, context here too to try to solve this. We can just apply this now. Remove the system message. Uh, now you can see we can run this code. So what is important when you use the at feature is what kind of, yeah, that was good. What kind of uh, context you put in here, because this is going to translate to the search query made by cursor, right? Uh, so just try to be mindful of what you put in here to actually get the best result. And if you scroll all the way down here, you can see something called source. So if you go back to this source, you can see we get back to the same community post that it kind of used to solve this. So you can also use this ads web feature to debug something. So I definitely, like I said, recommend trying out this both for creating content or code and also debugging. Uh, I've been kind of impressed by it, like I said. So uh, I guess that's two examples of how you can use this in your uh, workflow. I don't know. 
I haven't seen a lot of people test this out, uh, so I just wanted to cover it uh, in this video. I also just wanted to talk a bit about what is going to be my plan for the upcoming year on this channel. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep following along in this space and I can see almost these posts regularly lately. Like I'm genuinely blown away about Cursing Composer and Agent, why is it giving me better results? So a bunch of people getting into this space. Uh, there's still people coming in that hasn't really played around with this. So this guy just installed Cursor yesterday. So a lot of new people coming into this space. So for 2025, I think we're just going to keep basically doing what we've been doing. I'm going to keep trying out these agents, see if they get better. I'm going to focus on AI IDEs, just share the way I use them. Practical use cases. I want to do a bit more projects. Uh, if you don't know... I did this, I guess this was only for members, but I did this AI video project that was basically off YouTube, I didn't mention anything, and I made a good chunk of money just using cursor and promoting this stuff, we might do that in another video, so we might do some public projects, not for members only, I might do some live streams again, and maybe more member content, that is always on my mind, I've been a bit busy this uh, fall, but I think winter now is looking a bit more free time for me. So I think that's just going to be the plan for 2025, just going to keep looking at the agents, how they improve, cursor, maybe we should try other IDEs, practical use cases, of course we should follow along with the new model updates, O3, should I get O1 Pro or Pro mode, uh, yeah, more projects, live stream, members content, that's basically going to be the plan, uh, I'm not things I'm not gonna do is AI news there are so many channels now just focusing on putting out news updates there's X and YouTube and there's a bunch of people doing that so hopefully it's mostly gonna be practical use cases uh, like we've been doing with the Twilio agent and stuff I haven't really seen anybody else doing this call agents and all that stuff uh, by the way those um, call agents we did with Twilio. I got a bunch of people, businesses, asking me how we can set this up. So there definitely should be some opportunities for you if you want to build something in that AI agent voice space. But of course, there are risks. Uh, you could be replaced by a big company, but there are a bunch of opportunis opportunities here. So I think 2025 is going to be kind of the year of maybe agents, uh, we're going to have AI IDs, can continue, keep improving. We're probably going to see a bunch more of these uh, compute models, reasoning models that we have talked about before. So super interesting. And I think that's going to be it for me. The holidays are here, so I just want to wish you all super nice holiday. Maybe you have some time off, you want to sit, do some coding, play around with cursor maybe. And this other AI idea is so yeah. Just thank you for all the support uh, this year. It's been super uh, motivating, and yeah, hope we can do some cool stuff in 2025. So I just wish you all a happy, a happy Christmas, a good Christmas, a happy Christmas, happy holidays, and yeah, we speak soon. Probably gonna be some videos now before the end of the year, but uh, yeah, enjoy the holidays and we speak soon.